This is the Chevrolet Trailblazer Phoenix. It sells for 1.78 million pesos. Is it worth your money? Let's find out. This is the Chevrolet Trailblazer Phoenix. The Phoenix is based on the LT, which is the base model. The Phoenix has a few visual upgrades and it's priced a little bit higher than the Trailblazer LT. As for the visual upgrades, the Phoenix looks like it has a two-tone finish. The word Trailblazer is emblazoned in big bold letters on the hood. The Chevrolet logo, instead of being orange, is full carbon fiber. It still has halogen fog lamps. Here on the sides, it has these flat black fender moldings. It has flat black pillar decals. It has this flat black molding in between the tail lamps. And new for this model are these 18 inch wheels. Overall, the two-tone finish makes it look a bit more interesting than the regular Trailblazer LT. I think the wheels are the best part of the package because the LT only comes with 17s. The Trailblazer shares the same platform with the MUX and you can see a bit of the family resemblance when you look at both vehicles from the side. The rear quarter panel and the pillars look almost identical. While they share similar body panels and mechanical parts, they're not exactly the same vehicle. The Trailblazer has a more powerful engine. It's powered by a 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine, which produces 200 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. It used to be the king of torque in this segment until the Everest 2.0 by Turbo was released late this year. It is still the king of torque in this price bracket though. No other PPV below 2 million has 500 newton meters of torque. The engine is coupled to a 6 speed automatic. The dashboard of the Trailblazer Phoenix feels chunky and a bit plasticky. But I think it looks better than the dashboard of the MUX. Although the MUX has more storage, you don't get the dual glove boxes of the MUX on the Trailblazer Phoenix. The Phoenix has fabric seats. While that is expected for a PPV in this price bracket, I'm not a fan of the fabric that they used. This is the kind of fabric that is difficult to clean when it gets stained. Almost everything is made of hard plastic, which is expected for an entry-level PPV. It does have some nice leather touches though. The door inserts are covered in leather, and also the center armrest is also covered in leather. It has an 8-inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has a rear-view camera, but it doesn't have active guidelines. Okay, so I'm now at the second row seat of the Trailblazer Phoenix. Over here I have a 12-volt outlet. I have roof-mounted air vents and fan speed controls for the air vents. Um, leg room is pretty decent. Center armrest with two cup holders. And then... Oh yeah, the armrest is plastic. I mean, this is padded and it's leather, but this is plastic. I wish it was the other way around. Uh, the third row seats are for smaller adults and children only. But this vehicle has a little bit more space compared to the MUX. The Trailblazer is 
longer than the MUX. Yeah. Headroom is also quite good. I have about this much headroom, which is about, I don't know, two inches, two and a half inches. I'm about five foot. One of the main selling points of the Trailblazer is its power. It is noticeably more powerful than the 3.0 MUX, the Fortuner, and even the Montero. It feels responsive to throttle input. The downside is that the engine is a bit noisy. You do get a lot of diesel clatter inside the cabin. It doesn't feel as refined as other engines in this segment. The ride quality was okay. The suspension is not as stiff as the Fortuner, but not as soft as the Terra. The Trailblazer is one of the two PPVs in this class that has electric steering. The other one is the Everest. Steering on the Trailblazer is pretty light, but it gets heavier at highway speeds. The pricing for the Phoenix and the LT are 1.78 million and 1.7 million, respectively. Chevrolet's entry level models are priced relatively high compared to the competition. It is more expensive than the Terra EL and the Fortuner G. To be fair, the Phoenix has more features than the Fortuner G and the Terra EL, but it is also more expensive than the Montero GLS. The Montero has dual zone climate control, it has cruise control, it is arguably better looking, of course that's subjective, and the Montero is the newest model in the segment. The advantages of the Phoenix are the electric steering, and it has support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The main drawback for the Trailblazer Phoenix is the price. The top-of-the-line model for the Trailblazer, the Z71, is actually the cheapest top-of-the-line 4x4 model in the market. So it is a bit surprising that the Phoenix is priced so high. Had they priced this a bit lower, I think it would have been a lot more competitive. But as it is, I find it hard to recommend this model over the Montero GLS.